his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, trimmed with pink, standing six feet four and officially weighing in at 237 and three quarter pounds. His professional record is a perfect one. 20 fights, 20 victories, including 19 wins by knockout. Originally from Cuba, now living, training, and fighting out of Miami, Florida, USA. The former WBA interim heavyweight world champion, the undefeated Luis, the real King Kong Ortiz. That was his reach advantage off the top for Ortiz. Well, here's a softball again. And, uh, Ortiz the softball. <laughs> well. You know, we've got the uh, Cuban influence for Ortiz. And so many of the Cuban fighters, especially the heavyweights, are southpaws, and their coaches are southpaws. Well, Casamayo was a southpaw. So, yeah, he was a great fighter. The affiliate of Stevenson, way back, those guys. And uh, he did an amateur show once, and then the entire team was left. I wonder if they recruit sophomores for that reason, to have the advantage on the start. That's uh, one angle. Another angle, sometimes it's the coaches who are lefties, and then goes with that. Well, I'm a lefty. I, I, you know, there's goods and bads on each side. Depends on who you're facing, who you're fighting, uh, how much you know about your opponent. Um, Sometimes being a softball can be a curse. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. And they always have problems facing the southpaw. Well, I actually trained a few times with several southpaws. We used to broadcast a show called Heavyweight Explosions. We've done various, various heavy things. Kirk Johnson, Chris Bird, the Ike Akabuchi, and all these phenomenal heavyweights. So I have a great deal of experience working with heavyweights. And right now, it's a, it's a matter of tag right now. The pointing jabs is on my point. Southpaw pointing his jab, the righty pointing his jab. Um, it's a chest match. Ripping right hand by Ortiz. He's been getting in yet. Tried to load one up there. Well, it's early yet, and I think both men are filling each other out. I'm expecting some fireworks around two. These guys have a, a knockout in them, or they have so much respect that they end up hitting your side. Both men are pretty high in the knockout ratio. We got. 22 and 0 with 19 knockouts for Ortiz. We got 20 and 1 with 18 knockouts in Vedanda. Ortiz lands a good left hand. He has had the better punches in the opening round. Third! Luis Ortiz dubs himself the real King Kong. Reach advantage over Matias Vedando. Ortiz, 237.8 pounds. Redondo, 261. Takes the left hand. Ortiz thought he had the interim title one time before. He scored a one-round victory, but it was overturned after he failed the drug test. Ortiz reminds me a lot of Samuel Peter when he boxes. Um, I've commentated the Nigerian Nightmare on several occasions. And uh, Watch your feet. Watch your very feet. much like him. He lies on his hook. Uh, the right hand is not an exceptional weapon. But it's just more of a hook. I think that Ortiz is looking to land and to finish his opponent. And Redondo's conditioning, you know, either he's in shape, he don't look like it. <coughs> Oh, he's not in good shape. <laughs> With 261 pounds, you could make an argument either way at this point. 
uh, do you need to be you know, that heavy at six foot four? Could you be a few pounds lighter? Good left hand here by Ortiz. Tries to go back to it, does land a couple. Now he's got Vidondo lined up. He's on the final range. Jab by Ortiz. And the left hand by Ortiz. Ortiz starting to feel it in round two. It's just southpaw style. And what needs to happen for Redondo is he's got to find his place with a jab and make, allow Ortiz to walk to the right hand so he can throw it. That's what he's not doing. He's jabbing, as you can see right there. He'll jab, 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 and he won't throw the right hand. The way you beat a southpaw, you right there, go to right hand. Ortiz is getting there first and showing the reach advantage. And the power advantage is there too. And that is the Dondo. Five, six, seven. Gonna barely get up. Eight. Come to me, eight baby. And change. Come to me. Come to me. Wanna fight? Yes. You good? I have it. Let's go. Ortiz with some fireworks, but running out of time in round two. How important will this one minute be for Vidango? Time! Southpaw. So look for the straight left hand and follow by the hook. He throws his hook a little bit wide, Ortiz. And that's why it's not landing. As you see right there. Big shot. That's that it. might be it, and it is. So he's able to hook up where he left off. The real King Kong. Trying to do something like you have a chance to see it like you. Here you see the hook. And here go the that straight blocked, left hand. And then straight right left on top hand. of the temple. And it's hard to recover from a temple shot. Well, I think what also hurt him was the fall. Because if your face is the canvas like that, here it go again. The right hook's kind of wild and wide. And here comes a straight left hand on the temple. Bang. And on the temple and down goes for Dondo. But if you watch the fall, his head hit the canvas. And usually when that happens, we're not getting up. There's the King Kong element. Referee waves off the count and calls a halt to the fight immediately following the knockdown. The winner by knockout victory. And now the WBA interim heavyweight world champion, still undefeated, El Invicto Luis, the real King Kong Ortiz.